Hi guys, it's Emily from Doa Deer Nursery. It is a very gray, foggy, rainy day where I live. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like outside my back door into my backyard. Elodie is napping, but she should be getting up fairly soon. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on our rainy day routine. I just got a fire going in our wood stove. On days like today where it's really cold and gray, but I don't want to turn the heat on in the house, I just stock up on firewood and get this going. So hopefully by the time Elodie wakes up, the room will be nice and toasty warm. I think someone's starting to wake up. She's been making little noises. She's been down for about two and a half hours, so let's see if we can get her up so she doesn't get too grumpy later in the day. So Miss Elodie is mostly awake. She takes a while to wake up, especially when I need to wake her. So I've got her little bunny lovey for her here. That's her favorite. Keep her comforted. So I think first thing is she needs to have a bit of a bottle. She didn't have too much before she went down. So I'm sure she's got a pretty hungry tummy right now. So let's go ahead and give that to her. Come here, sweet girl. Okay. You can't see it in the background, but we do have a nice warm fire going. So it's nice and toasty in here. We are actually expecting a really big storm this evening and probably for the next couple days it's expected to persist. So we're all set up. There's a chance we might lose power. So it does tend to happen several times here during the winter. It's usually not out for too long. But I've got the wood stove going. That way the house will be warm regardless of whether or not we can use the electric heat. Um, I've pulled out several candles. They're also really nice. They're really nice smelling Bath and Body Works candles, so they're just nice to have burning in general. I think I'll go ahead and pre-cook some dinner for us this evening because um, we do have an electric stove. And so if the power does go out, I want to have a nice ready cooked meal, something that we could still enjoy cold. So I'm thinking about what I can make. I know we've got some fresh broccoli I can steam. I love having steamed broccoli with a little bit of butter or sometimes a little bit of lemon squeezed over top. So that'll probably be good. I'll see what else I can make with that. Maybe some baked potatoes. Just nice, cold, rainy weather comfort food. Miss Elodie here only needs her bottle. <laughs> That's all the comfort food she needs. You can see she's really happy and contented right now, just holding her lovey and having her bottle. Okay, that should be good. She didn't quite finish all four ounces, but she did have most of it. All right, let's do a burp. You don't need to put your lovey down, sweet girl. I always like to do a front burp, especially on smaller babies. It's just easier to support them this way. There we go. Let's get this arm up. Okay. Oh, she's still totally dozing. Not completely up yet. Once we get her diaper change. She doesn't love that, so she'll probably wake up completely, maybe a little grumpy then. Okay. Good, that was
was a little burp. That was good. Let's see if there's any more in there. Probably a little bit more. There we go. Okay, good. Good girl. Good girl. Alright, time for a diaper change. So while I change her diaper, I'm just going to go ahead and change her whole outfit because these gowns are great for sleeping but probably not what I want her wearing all day. Look at these beautiful chunky legs with these rolls. So cute. Alright, let's get her arm out. Head. Okay, there we go. I know that she's got some serious messy hair under this bonnet, so I like to leave it on until she's all dressed. Okay, let's actually take her little socks off first. Look at those cute feet. I just love those little feet. It is nice and warm in here from the wood stove, so I'm not too worried about having her just in her little white onesie, because it is pretty toasty. Alright, set those aside. Okay. So I think for the rest of the day, we're just going to keep it quiet and comfortable inside the house. Okay, here we go. Not do too much today. Maybe I have a great audiobook I've been listening to. Um, I've, I love reading, reading actual hard copy books or reading books on my Kindle. But what's great about audiobooks? my coat diaper, um, is when I'm doing something like painting or cleaning around the house or just doing anything where I kind of need to be hands-free, I can't really turn pages, or I'm visually focusing on something else like painting, it's nice to be able to just listen to the book being read to me. Um, it's so much better for me sometimes in like a TV show or something where with a book you're really, it's a different experience. You're really immersed in your own imagination and I think sometimes you can really enjoy it a lot more that way. And I think Elodie likes the calming voices of the narrators. She'll just quietly lay next to me in her bassinet or her car seat and just look up like she's listening intently to the book as well. Alright, so I'm going to be putting her in this really cute old navy. It's kind of like a dusty rose pink with these darker pink deer on them and these periwinkle and pink little leaf details. I ordered this from a friend in the Reborn community. So thank you so much for that if you're watching. And this is the first time I've put it on a baby, even though I've had it for a while. There we go, over the head. It's got little snaps at the neck, which make it a lot easier to get it over her head. I want her to be dressed in something that's cute, of course, but still comfortable, almost like pajamas, and something that will keep her warm this evening. There we go. Perfect. Get her some. 
snaps at her neck. One and two. Perfect. Oh, there you go, big girl. And then I got these really cute Carter's kind of periwinkle pants. And they match the little periwinkle details. They're a little hard to see from afar, but they are the same color on her onesie. And I love these style pants because they're not really tight like the leggings, which I would think feel more comfortable, especially on these big chunky legs. So they're elasticized at the waist. They kind of blouse out and then they're lightly elasticized at the ankle. And these just look really cute and comfortable, kind of like the baby version of sweatpants. Got some little white and pink socks to match her onesie. They're a little big on her, but they still look really cute. They're zero to three, and I would say size-wise, she's kind of right in between newborn and zero to three. I find that newborn fits her a little bit snug, and zero to three, like this onesie, is just a little bit blousey on her, but still looks really nice. And because she's got these beautiful, elegant hands, she does have kind of long fingernails right now. We're going to put some little mittens on her. You can hear the fire crackling in the background. And I'm not so sure if you can hear it on camera, but you can hear the rain falling outside. So the combination of the falling rain and the crackling fire, it's just a really, really cozy afternoon. Let's go ahead and brush her pretty hair. So I've got her all propped up with a pillow behind her. Let's take off her bonnet. She's been wearing this for quite some time. So I know she's going to have some messy bed head. <laughs> Look at that cute crazy hair. Okay. So I'm going to be using my go-to favorite baby hair product. It's the Johnson's No More Tangles Detangling Spray and I like it because it makes it easier to brush through her hair and it's also really gentle. Shake it up. Make sure it's unlocked and I cover her face with my hand and just lightly spritz all around. I'm going to start with this little baby brush. It's got the really, really soft bristles. So I'm going to start with that to just kind of smooth everything over. And then for this really gentle, delicate, fine baby hair, I like to go over with a toothbrush. It's a clean toothbrush, separate from what I use to actually brush my teeth that I use for hair styling. So it's kind of smoothed out all over. So I'm going to take my little hairbrush now. What I like is the bristles are a bit firmer. And generally I don't think I would use something that has ridges like this. I'd rather something be flat. But this is the newest, this is the new toothbrush I have, just out of the pack. So that's what we'll use. I like to style her hairline and her little sideburn areas. And then focusing on the crown of the head 
I'm just sort of following her natural swirl. Get all her hair going in the natural direction. Let's see if you can see that side a little bit. And then I'm actually going back in with my soft brush. Now that I've got everything going in the direction that I want it to, I want to smooth it all out nicely so it lays flat. Alright. That looks pretty nice to me. So now she's got a full belly, a clean diaper, a pretty outfit for today, and some smooth hair. And now it's time for some cuddles. I know you. I've walked with you once. So now that she is all fed and changed and has been comforted and cuddled a bit, I think I'm going to go ahead and start making dinner. I'm going to set this sweet girl up on her play mat for a few minutes of tummy time. And then after that, I'll probably put her in her swing so I can make dinner. Yeah, we're just going to have a nice, quiet evening in. I'm going to go ahead and give her her ballerina pacifier so she stays comfortable. We don't get fussy later. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.